Namaste, I'm Shivani. Welcome one more time to my YouTube channel, Sanskrit Mantras. Today, Wednesday, we continue with our series of uh, alignment of each chakra through mantras, the chakras located at the, um, along the spine. We already learned the mantras for the seven main chakras. But there are other two chakras also along the spine that I consider as important as the other seven. I've taught before in this channel that the human body has over 500 chakras. Chakras are wheels of energy and the subtle body has a system of um, nadis or channels and the intersection of those channels are the wheels of energy called chakras. There are many, many chakras, like I said, over 500. But the main ones through the main channels, the Susugna, Ida, and Pingala, are the seven main chakras because it's in their section of those three channels. I've explained this before in the first video of this um, channel. You can go back and watch it. And um, but there are another two mantras and there are maybe more i mean chakras maybe more in this along the spine along the sushumna channel but these two i consider particularly um uh particularly um important to me so even when i um when i make my um chakra malas i make them with nine chakras and actually because nine is also a um, multiple, I mean 108 is a multiple of nine. You know, I would like to tell, tell a little story here. When I was um, thinking about making a chakra mala, I, I was looking, you know, looking up online and in stores, chakra malas, and they will represent the seven main chakras. And then because um, 108 is not a multiple of seven, then, they were very odd because they would start with seven and seven and seven and there were a few left to make the 108 or they were divided differently and they, they used dividers or other you know colors or stones or beads that represented god knows what and i didn't like any of the mantras the malas that i have seen so what i thought okay so we have so many chakras in the body i bet there must be another two to complete nine uh, chakras that are as important as the other seven. So I need to find out which ones are they are. So I asked Namadeva, my beloved teacher Namadeva, and he said, you know, I'm going to be very honest. I wouldn't know which ones to tell you. But what I'll tell you is to ask your intuition, ask the divine to guide you and to give you that answer. Just ask the question. You will get the answer. So that's what I did. In one day that I was looking for uh, a particular book that Guruji, Sadhguru Sankeshavada wrote called The Mysterious Shakti Kundalini. And I found it online and I ordered it. It was a used copy and it, it wasn't very in very good shape. But the strangest thing happened, you know, God, speaks in mysterious way. What happened is when I received the book, I was very excited. And the first thing I opened the book and I see an image of a man sitting in Lotus with the representations of the chakras along the spine. And guess how many there were? There were nine. So I found my extra two chakras. I found my nine chakras that I needed to represent it in my chakra malas. And these are the nine chakras that I am teaching how to activate in this channel, in this series. So the next one, <clears throat> it's a very dear to me and very important chakra. It's called the Hridaya chakra. The Hridaya chakra is also known as the sacred heart. It, um, it is debatable as to where exactly is located what I have learned, it is located between, I believe, the, uh, the, um, the heart chakra and the solar plexus. Between Manipura and, uh, I forget the name, the heart chakra. 
the Anahata chakra, sorry, had a blank. So more or less in between those two, along the spine, we find the sacred heart. The sacred heart is the connection, is our connection with our innermost self, and also therefore with the divine. There, um, there is an ashram in Maine called the Hridaya um, ashram, and um, I used to go there when I lived in Massachusetts, and I love that ashram and everybody involved in the in the and that live in the ashram. And um, they do, you know, very heavy duty practices. Uh, around the the Hridaya and is related to Bushunda which is um, an illuminated crow and one of the representation I do not have a, a um, drawn representation of this chakra but you can look it up and it has the tree of life in it and um, it's very interesting so this chakra the seed sound is Hrim and I've been taught since the very beginning of my learning and journey uh, learning Sanskrit mantras that the seed sound theme we use it to clear our malas first what we do is we chant the seed sound Hrim to each one of the beads in the mala to connect to tune the mala to us to our Hridaya chakra uh, into our innermost beings to make it our mala. Hrim, 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 each one of these. Hrim, hrim, hrim. When you feel that your mala is heavy energetically or it fell on the floor or somebody else that you didn't like the energy touched your mala, you go around, you can, you can clear the malas with the moonlight or the full moon. You can, I wouldn't advise to clean them actually with soap and water because the thread will rot uh, you can you know damp a little you know cloth with lukewarm um, water and kind of clean them but not soak them in water but to clean them energetically the hrim 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 seed sound is the best and we find this seed sound this seed sound hrim in many of the mantras that we've learned here the two main mantras to activate this chakra uh, I have taught one of them which is exactly I've taught it under the title mantra to activate or mantra for the sacred heart which is the Hridaya chakra uh, and the, the other one the first one that I'm going to teach here today and I'm going to chant 108 times is Om Padma Sundariye Namaha Om and salutations to she who personifies beauty uh, this is an extreme love mantra inner love that is related all, obviously to the sacred heart and the second one I have taught here and I will put the link to the video where I taught it in the description box of this video and it's Hrim Shrim Klim Parameshwari Swaha Hrim Shrim Klim Parameshwari Swaha. The chanting this mantra brings the kundalini all the way up to the top of the head. So let's chant 108 times the first one, Om Padma Sundariye Namaha. And here we go. Om Padma Sundariye Namaha 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 
ఓం పద్మసుందార్య నమ 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 
ఓం పద్మ సుందార్య నమాహం 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 ఓం 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 పద్మ సుందార్య నమాహం Que tengas una jornada llena de bendiciones. May you have a blessed day. Tata, sweet.